Hey, Lord of the Rings fans, and welcome back. We're here in the Second Age once again as Numenor is preparing for war against its rival on the Numenorian island. The uh, Kingdom of Anadun is facing off against them on the battleground, but that is not the only battle here today. We also have a battle uh, between the Ayatasid Khanate and also the Kingdom of Erengal, and as these two battle it out, Together, Aaron Garland back here with some deer cav. Uh, I guess trying to wait in the wings, maybe trying to be sneaky, but I think they have been spotted um, already. The Ida Sid Carne as well are uh, already on the rampage. Uh, this is a um, Kamulid faction, so basically an all cav faction um, from the east. And I think these are technically like the goods, like the goodies. They're just a different clan, maybe. I'm not sure. Could they are uh, the Kamulid are definitely like the evil ones. That's how you get uh, like Kamul the um, like the Ringwraith, he is from uh, the Kamulid Empire, and uh, he gets turned evil. Uh, I don't know if these guys are a good faction technically, or whether they are uh, te uh, just another tribe of the uh, like this faction of like this faction, the, the Luriags. Um, but yes, they are already moving up. We do have as well some Numenorian scouts here for uh, for Numenor. Um, hitting in the wings here they're just harassing looks like they're actually shooting at Alfrazon here who is uh here in today's game with his golden armor looking glorious big fan of him Alfrazon decided to seize the throne of Numenor for himself and in today's game we will find out who will be uh the ruler of the Numenorian peoples and on their island I think Eren Garland is somewhere in here we can't see them but I think Eren Garland's somewhere back here in the woods uh hidden with their main army the elves you know, the Wood Elves are pretty hit, uh, sneaky. They are hidden. And, uh, well, they're not entirely uh, hidden because they do have uh, Greenleaf Glaives way in the back over here, supporting their um, Elven Cav, uh, their Deer Cav out, which is impressive. And it does seem like they have a lot of guerrilla deployment uh, for their units here. And it does seem as though, yeah, we're going to have a bit of a Cav fight uh, in today's game. We don't have uh, many of them in Last Alliance Total War. It is, uh, well, uh, unusual because there aren't, isn't a lot of Cav in. Uh, the mod actually funny enough like there's not a lot of factions that have Ravanian and uh, the, the enemy have and the uh, Kamulid uh, factions have a lot of them but not so much uh, some of the other factions like Numenor for instance uh, so yeah it'll be interesting to see how this one goes on already Bow Cav coming forward with these Luriag Nomads here already uh, shifting forward to try and shoot at uh, the Deer Cav try and weaken them up before they get charged and here they go the uh, Deer Cav going in looks like they're going after Luriag Nomads and in these guys go some of the heavier lances going in as well by the looks of it. I think these are Noka lances or no Tamas Spearmen they are. Uh, and the good thing about this faction as well, this uh, nomadic sort of faction, I guess is what the Kamulids are, is that their the infantry, uh, they're also infantry of the cab units. A lot of them, like the, uh, the Tamas Spearmen and the Tama Axemen especially are actually the dismounted infantry units. That's why their units are so big. They're like 200 man units because they can also be infantry. It's very, very cool. They're not necessarily the best infantry in the world, but it's infantry nonetheless. And I think the deer cap came out on that one pretty badly, actually, looking at the Tamas Spearm, and they're losing because uh, they're outnumbered, but they are now fighting more over here. And these guys are absolutely rapid as this cab. Like, both sides have really fast-moving cab, it seems. I didn't realize how quick they are, but I guess also uh, Shogun, you know, makes units extra speedy. That's how the game's kind of played, is, you know, a million miles an hour. The riders are pulling through a little bit. I'm not really sure where the battle lines are. These Tamas Spearmen, they were probably getting some easy kills. These uh, spear, uh, the uh, Elven Riders here are uh, kind of pulling in and out. Uh, and they are trying to, you know, delay uh, the Luriags here by holding them in place so the Greenleaf Glaives can get into position and start their fight. And you can see already the Deer Riders redlining. Not so good. I mean, numbers-wise, Cav, likewise, um, they are vastly outnumbered by the elves, but quality-wise, I'm not so sure. They might have it, you know, these uh, Kumula Cav, yeah, there's a lot of them, but they're not necessarily the most elite in the world. And in, with infantry support, they have a good chance, the elves. Very, very good chance. Fighting in the woods over here, they just keep retreating and losing uh, the occasional elf here and there. Are the deer riders, you know, just really being a, a pain and a pest. I don't think either side here is engaged yet. Yeah, both Numenors are just standing off. Uh, the elves have appeared out of the forest as well uh, with their main force. So we've got Borderlanders here. We've got more Greenleaf Glaives. I think we've got, yeah, Orophor uh, himself. This is Thrandall's dad. Dies in the Battle of uh, the uh, Dead Marshes um, later on. He is here. But yes, if you are unaware of this mod, anyway, we've not really had a proper intro. Um, but if you're unaware of this mod and you want to check it out yourself, uh, 
This is the last Alliance mod for Shogun 2 Total War. You can, uh, check it out in the link in the description. It's a very easy install of Mod DB. And uh, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. I'll leave a link also for uh, their Discord so you can get involved in some, uh, some battles if you want to. This was sent in uh, and they said it was a really fun one, a really close one, uh, worth checking out. Uh, and yeah, it certainly seems like it's certainly been an interesting one. Very high speed, energetic start. As the, yeah, the deer rider is still just trying to pull away, and they're just you know making themselves a pest. But they're just going to get charged down by more Tama axe when these guys are just endless. The amount of cavalry is insane, and then they go there. And it looks like yeah, the deer rider is slowly being killed off. The green leaf glaive so is still alive, uh, and one deer rider still at half strength, which is good to see. Looks like Numenor is going to just sit back and they're going to start firing uh, volleys of arrows. You can see here the uh, Steel Bowman, very, very elite uh, bow unit. Can be a pretty good hybrid unit, to be honest. And Tamuriel as well, the uh, unique general that they have. Also blast the uh, shots, glorious shots. They hope to make up in numbers there. And yeah, Tamuriel is like, uh, you see her in the uh, in the show Rings of Power and Alpharazan as well, to be fair. You see them both. Um, and... They are, you know, the two vying for the throne of Numenor. One, Tarmiriel is the rightful ruler of Numenor, and Alfrazen, a bit of a, uh, a pretender. And he is, uh, believes he knows what's right. Should no longer be working with elves. But ironically in this, he is, uh, you know, with elves, like working with elves. So, yeah, kind of ironic. They've got Numenor and uh, Steel Bowman of their own here. Seems like they've only brought the three, though, and seems like Numenor has very much outmatched when it comes to bows. They're using fire ammo as well. What are they shooting? They're shooting heavy infantry as well. Not a great target since they have massive shields. But here we go. Numenor and heavy infantry going in against uh, Swordmasters. That is going to be a tough fight there for the Spears because uh, Swordmasters is a shock infantry unit. Yeah, double-handed sword. Very, very good. They're cutting those guys down. There you go, Swordmasters, yeah, winning easily in that one there, it seems. Yeah, winning slightly over on this side, eh, not so much, not so great there. And we've got a Numenorean uh, Faithful of the Golden King fighting in here as well, and they are, yeah, going to be a real, real test for the uh, Numenoreans. Losing slightly now, I mean, it's, it looks like it's a close one. These guys, Numenorean Faithful, axe infantry, really strong units, and we've got more of them on the flank over here. Uh, and they look like they're actually going to flank around this pike line here. I don't know why... Kingdom of Anadun actually engaged. They should not have. But they are flanking on around here. They can actually get into Tarmariel. They need to engage Tarmariel there. She just needs to get back. And you can see here, yeah, orange red lining these pikes. Yeah, the sun will waver because they're getting uh, rich. Well, getting it uh, charged in behind. And you can see Tama Spearman here now arriving to assist the Steel Bowman. I guess they've dealt with uh, most of the Elven threat. They are still finding the uh, Deer Riders a little bit, and the Glaives are getting involved, but most of them have been dealt with. Looks like the uh, Archers over here also been attack. dealt with. We the General's actually now. going into uh, combat. This is I, I, Atak? Atak? I don't know much about him, if he's even a real actual, like, lore character-wise in uh, Lord of the Rings, I don't know. Or in, in Middle-earth, I don't know if he is. Geez, a lot of these Noka Lances are getting focused down by hidden elves that they can't see. They need to sort that out. Uh, yeah, that's just lost a full unit of Noka Lances there for free. Uh, but they are just pestering these green leaf glaives, doing what they can. Uh, they've got a lot of cavern behind here, Tama Spears. Yeah, just so many of them in behind. I and mean, they're chasing down uh, the, the, uh, the archers here, the Steel Bowman. And we've got a Pike in here as well, trying to, you know, protect these guys. Good target would be over here. So you could rear charge Alpharazon if you could hit him with his golden guard in combat here against uh, Swordmasters. They're doing their best there. Yeah, no cav moving over there. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the Isisid, Atisid, Atisid, Kane. I'm probably butchering it every time I say it. I do apologize. But yeah, the, uh, the horse faction here, they just need to basically get over here and start uh, charging into uh, Alpharazon. And here we go. Not a bad charge. I can actually see him down there. He's getting himself knocked about quite ver violently there. And yeah, losing decisively. So 100 men left. That could drop though. Uh, still Bowman going into melee. They're wavering and breaking. Looks like, yeah, a lot of bows having to be committed now. So uh, in a way, Numenor lost that bow fight because, well, they just uh, got outgunned. But also they're having to send them into melee now They're in, uh, as infantry. When they definitely have not used all their ammo. Numenor and Faithful, they flanked around so many times and instead tried to uh, surround this Numenor and Pike unit and they're just getting themselves shot. 
That's their reward. Just getting blasted by Tar Mariel and the Royal Guard, and also more Steel Bowmen over here, and just doing what they, uh, they need to do. You can see here Numenor and Steel Bowmen. Still shooting, dueling here, but yeah, just massively outgunned at this point. Uh, the Elves and the uh, Carnate are still fighting over here as well, but uh, yeah, this is not a fight that the Carnate can really take. Long melee here against infantry is not going to go well, especially since they're glaives. They're like a double handed spear unit. They're going to be, yeah, the perfect unit for killing Cav. So yeah, the psychic charging there, not achieving a lot, that's for sure. They should really just focus down. Um, Kingdom of Anadun, because they're not helping each other out, Anadun and Erengal, and maybe, you know, Alfrazen and uh, Orifer had a, a falling out or something like that, but uh, yeah, they did, uh, in fact, not really help each other, which has kind of been their downfall. Because, yeah, this uh, horse faction, which can move so quickly, has actually been able to just, like, you know, help double team Anadun and get rid of them. Uh, it does... Do you think Alfrazen's still just about alive? He's down to 53 men left, and they are actually able to lose that. Numero and Faithful. Might be Faithful, but, you know, this is also getting charged in the back by Cavalry. Rather, I think, worry about their own lives than uh, Faithful to Alfrazen's new regime he's trying to instill into Numenor. And, yeah, here you can see Alfrazen is pretty much, pretty much dead. Down to 41. And dropping. What have we got over here? So they're still fighting over here as well. Still fighting against those green leaf glaives. They're still being a pain. Thought they might have been, uh, you know, finished off by now. Yeah, this is some pretty elite cav as well. The Noka Lancers. I don't think they've got brought their most elite cav in this game. The um, the Carnate, or whether they even have. I don't think they even have access to the same uh, units as the Kamulids. Uh, but they do have some much more, uh, like more elite in, uh, cavalry. So we are back, um, so yeah, I just had to uh, step away from the PC for a moment, uh, but I am back uh, with a replay, and I think we are pretty much where we left off, um, and uh, yeah, it does seem as though uh, these green leaf glaives just be making themselves a pain in the backside, and they are, uh, yeah, I mean, they're fighting in prolonged melee with these Tamas Spears, you really should dismount if they're going to use them against infantry, especially infantry, which has a huge double-handed spear, and they are literally per perfect anti-cav units. As you can see over here, it looks like the uh, the cavalry here, the Tam Axemen, still causing as much problems as possible here for the Numenorians. And it looks like the Steel Bowmen still battling away, trying to, you know, work overtime, dueling, firing fires, which looks awesome, but I don't know how effective it is, really. But uh, yeah, they are trying to do as much damage as possible. And you can see there, uh, it looks like they're going to get focused down and killed off. Anyway, if they aren't charged down by all the, uh, the cavalry waiting back here, which have been charging into uh, the Numenorians over here, the Kingdom of Anadun. The uh, the Faithful are nearly giving in. They are, uh, their faith is nearly broken with our Frazon. The, uh, look, I mean, the, uh, the animations are great for this, uh, for this mod. They really do. Really do feel like I'm on the battlefield. And there you go. Oh my gosh, in comes the cab. My gosh. Just swamps everything, really. I mean, that might uh, route that Faithful unit there. Our Frazan is also not looking great. He's down to like 50 men left. And yeah, it's not looking great. It is not looking great. Um, you know, and Faithful still fighting in the front line. They got a lot of uh, elite infantry here, does the Kingdom of Anadun. I wonder whether they should have maybe um, cheaped out on a few other units. Because, I mean, they're being held in place by a lot more cheaper stuff. Like the pikes aren't that expensive. But then again, I guess the Kingdom of Numenor brought a lot more expensive um, shock infantry. He brought some, some different, very expensive units. Yeah, the pikes are kind of, they're winning decisively. Well, but they're not really in phalanx at all. But yeah, these sword masses winning decisively against heavy infantry here. I mean, yeah, I was actually, to be fair, Kingdom of Numenor also seems to have a lot of expensive units. I mean, it just helps for um, Numenor that they have the, uh, the Carnate ally uh, helping them while... The elves are nowhere to be seen with Anadun. And there you go, a breakthrough there. As uh, Numenor is starting, well, Anadun is starting to shatter. Numenor is starting to, you know, just mass route these units here. They're still uh, just, you know, rear charging all these units as well where they can. Alfrazen, I think, has actually broken. I don't think he's dead. Haven't had any sort of notification he is. He might be uh, wounded, or I guess he might be, like, unconscious or captured. Because I have nothing to say he's dead. But yeah. 
Numenor is starting to win its fight against King Vanadun very clearly now. And Anadun, even though he's, he's managed to route another unit there, though, they managed to get rid of, it looks like, uh, the pikes here. Tarmiriel is now going to have to go into the battle, or oh, not. She's actually going to run away. Probably the smart thing to do. Cav charges in, tries to pin down these units. He really should just try and engage, I don't know, a steel bowman or more cavalry, I guess. They've got more cavalry in the wings that could just smash in. Tarmiriel, though, it's a pretty decent uh, hybrid unit. I would have thought hold the line and hammer an anvil with the cav would be a lot more effective. It doesn't really matter too much. They've won the fight on this side. Now they've got to deal with the elves, though. The fight is not yet over. It's a very battered Numenor army and a pretty battered Carne army as well. So now I'm going to take on the elves, which have lost some, uh, some deer riders and uh, a few like uh, double-handed spear units. But they've probably still got quite a lot over here. We'll see how they can do. But yes, it does seem as though uh, the Greenleaf Glaives... Looks like they may be boxed up. I really don't know. It looks like they've been in a bit of a fight already down here. It looks like, yeah, cab fight's taking place against the elves. And, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the, yeah, the cab or the elves came off very lightly out of that one. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what state the elves are still in. Because they seem to be able to hide so easily in plain sight. Uh, Numenor and Faithful still being a, a pain chasing after Tarmiriel. I think Tarmiriel, like, Royal Guard could probably hold, uh, hold and, you know, actually win that fight. 67 of them left. Maybe they just want to keep using their archer ammo, but uh, I mean, I'll just go into melee. I don't think you risk me too much. Run out. Fire when more. ready! We concentrate on just one target. Have they been caught? I think they uh, actually, the Numenor and Faithful have been caught, yeah, by uh, Steel Bowman. Alright, that was lucky. And have they been routed? Uh, wavering, exhausted, but they're not breaking yet. No one really wants to engage this Numenorian Faithful. Like, it is a scary unit, but it's not that scary that uh, you need to avoid it. Like the plague. And there you go. Tarmadiel going in with the Royal Guard. Charging in. And I was going to say, they should be able to just you know, hammer and anvil this unit quite easy. Encircle it with all this infantry, and there you go. That is the Kingdom of Anadun pretty much done. And there's still another heavy infantry to deal with, but uh, it's not going to take too long to uh, to deal with. It looks like now the uh, the elves are uh, going to be the next target. I'm going to just fast forward while we wait because it looks like it could be a little bit of a time while uh, while we wait for you know the victors to uh, sort of unite, take on the elves. The last stand of the Numenorean Heavy Infantry goes on. Alpharazan's power base is slowly being disintegrated. And there you go. Tarmariel wins again. Only lost, you know, like six or seven men. Incredible. And yeah, now we now we can just fast forward as the uh, Numenoreans and the uh, Carnate just wait for the Elves to appear. Or they move towards the Elves and, you know, help them appear. Um, but yes, we'll... Well, here they go. The Here they go, and the are the Cav they going in? Up in numbers what they lack in courage. We will see. The Elves are just boxed up. They're not doing anything other than that. Um, and we're going to see a bunch of these guys dismount. This is what the uh, these uh, Camulid factions can do, these uh, Horde factions. They can um, dismount their infantry, these Tama Axemen, and they can become actual infantry. Not that great. I don't think they're going to be able to beat Elves. But it is an asset that, you know, is very handy. And in they go. They're going to start buying the elves down here. And on this side, it looks like they're just going to charge straight in. I mean, they're charging into Ar archers. Not a bad target to charge into, to be honest. Oh my gosh. The sea of cavalry that just comes in there. These are Tama Spears. They can also dismount if they want to. They charge so far and they've hit a square. But that uh, arch unit, how's it looking? It's looking like it's lost quite a loss, to be honest. It looks like it lost about 70 men if it was a healthy unit. Numenor yet to still arrive, but um, yeah, the like the Kamulid faction Number here, the Aitasid Karnate, the they're doing their best. Be best if we concentrate on one target. Looks like Numenor's running out of ammo. And probably also the Karnate as well. I'm not surprised, they've been doing a lot of shooting this uh, so far, dealing with Anadun. And there you go, another cab charge. I mean, they knocked back so many elves. The 
the, yeah, the green leaves here, they're trying to do their best to hold the line. Borderlanders as well, we've got, yeah, a lot of, like, there's some cool units of Aaron Garland, I will admit, and it's definitely probably is the most well-rounded of the factions. Maybe as well with, like, Linden. Linden's pretty strong. Yeah, you got the, uh, I think these are just, yeah, still Bowman going in with a double-handed sword. It looks like, they, they kind of look like they might have pulled through there. The artist of Kane. yeah, they absolutely have. They're trying to get rear charge into these headhunters. Run he's running into Orifa. Orifa's going to cut down a lot of these uh, Noyan swords there. They are kind of pushing out of the elves. They pushed out from their original box a little bit. They're kind of winning these fights. At least it looks like they are. Morallo's not looking great. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the borderline is starting to break. This corner is also looking a bit dicey. I mean, they're winning, though. And, well, these two are losing. That. The headhunters are winning decisively. Oh, they got, like, double-handed, uh, like, double... Um, Akimbo knives there. That's very cool. Like Legolas. Oh, That's very, very cool. I'm a fan of that. But they are like being surrounded by men with absolutely men huge great lost. swords. Oh yeah, it's not looking good. Look at that. Tamar Axman breaking. They actually broke all of that uh, assault infantry assault they did deal. That's pretty incredible. The green leaves are now going to be able to... Con uh, Glaives are going to be able to continue forwards. It's not really a box anymore. It's, it has turned into a proper sort of like straight line. Just line fight now. Numenor's pretty much committed everything. Tamriel's the only thing really left. Still Bowman is still a few with some arrows, it seems. Uh, and look at this. Cab being caught. Elves managed to catch his Noka Lancer here, and they'll impale them. Reinforcements are arriving. And looks like another Noka Lancer going in there, trying to, you know, hammer and anvil, break these guys as much as possible. Swordmaster's also going in, 101 of them. Still a healthy unit. Elves still have some uh, glaives to come to the front line. Is Orifa in the front line? He is. Well, he's he's in the fight anyway. Uh, I think his bodyguard is the one with the the bow. Uh, like these these guys here with the spear and shield, and they also have a bow. Very cool unit. We've got more time at Axeman dismounting. I think you should have just kept them uh, mounted. Or are these guys the ones that already? I think these guys might have already been the ones that uh, have routed once. I think, yeah, they're going back in. Where they should remount up and charge, it might be a better idea now with this uh, no longer being a box formation. Oh, Numenor's broken through here, though. Looks like, yeah, it looks like heavy infantry and also some steel bowmen breaking through this line here. Now they're going to be able to isolate this uh, Greenleaf Glaive here and then fight the uh, the remaining, remaining force over there. It's just a matter of uh, when, not if. I like the, uh, the Glaive unit though, it's like literally it's like back to back, there's like guys fighting both ways, it's like an epic last stand here by the elves. Oh shameful day, our army is running from the field, we must rally And there you go, Aura 4 is starting to rout, Tarmariel might be responsible for cutting him down, and there you go, I think that is pretty much GG. There's actually an elf unit over here as well that needs dealing with. Greenleaf Glaives are getting charged by Noka Lancers. Deal with them and they're going to get charged from the other side, yeah. And that is then GG, I think, now. The Elves have finally been defeated, as has the Kingdom of Anadun, and the Iatacid Carnate and the Kingdom of Numenor are victorious. And uh, I'll make a quick cut here, um, and we'll see you guys with the end results. So here we are with the end results. So uh, this was sent in by Wushal, who was playing as the Kingdom of Numenor, I believe. Um, and Aiden was playing as the Iatacid Carnate. Um, I'd really like to know if these guys are actually are, like a real faction. And whether like the Kamulids, I presume, are. Whether the Iatacids are just uh, like another clan that's been like added in to give them some uh, some opposition. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Or like and if Itax an actual real like sort of person from law. I'd be interested to know. Um, but yeah, well done to Commandant Ricky and uh, also to... Uh, Low Von Wald as well also did a uh, good job. You know, I feel like maybe if they united up, they might be able to defeat Numenor and the uh, horse faction uh, um, potentially. Uh, hard to say easily uh, because that horse faction is very unpredictable. 
Um, but here we go, Wushel's kills. Um, 343 kills with the Steel Bowman. Uh, 293 with another Steel Bowman there. Tamariel getting 250 kills. 248 with Swordmasters. 223 with those Steel Bowmen. 196 with the Heavy Infantry. And there are the rest of his kills. If you want to have a look at those, he got some incredible kills. In fairness to Wushel. Uh, Commandant Ricky getting 145 kills with the... Uh, Numenor and Faithful of the Golden King shows a massive difference actually in like, damage done by Kingdom of Anadun. Um, insane. Numenor and Infantry only 130, like Heavy Infantry 137 kills. Faithful again 115. Alfrazen getting 89 kills. Um, and then we have Aiden playing as the Itacid uh, Carnate. 251 kills with the Tama Axeman, 199 with another Tama Axeman. Tama Spears getting 120, 158 kills. Uh, no Kalantas, 118, the best for them. And there are the rest of his kills, if you want to look at those. And then we have Lo Von Wald playing as the uh, Wooden Realm or Eren Garland. Um, Sindar Greenleaf Glaives, 329 kills. These guys, even though they're down, they're never out. Um, Greenleaf Glaives, 212 kills. 212 with a Deer Rider is the best of those. Um, didn't use them probably as effectively as he could have. Um, I think just keeping them with his main force might have been a better idea. 191 kills with the Greenleaf Glaives in his North Guard, 164 kills. Head Hunters, 140 kills. And there are the rest of his kills. If you want to have a look at those, Aura 4 getting 77. And there you go. That is today's last Alliance replay. If you do want to see more of this mod, do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're around here. Do check out the mod as well and the Discord. The link for both of those are in the description. They're definitely worth uh, checking out if you're a fan of the Second Age and also just Lord of the Rings. And yeah, it's got a campaign and it's got a very active multiplayer uh, like base. So definitely worth checking out. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.